Access AI is a new feature from Ira where you can take a picture or share a photo and ask questions with an AI and it can provide image descriptions. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, this is Carry On Accessibility where we talk about technology and accessibility. Today we're going to be talking about Access AI, which is the new feature from Ira. I actually interviewed Troy Otilio. I'm sorry if I said the name wrong, but that is the CEO of Ira to talk about everything that it does, why they developed it, how they're developing it, and what are some of the other features that we'll see down the line. So if you're interested in that video, definitely go check it out in the YouTube cards. I'll also leave a link in the description. This feature is in beta and it's available on the Ira Explorer app from the Apple App Store as well as the Google Play Store. Here I'm showing my Pixel device and I have the Ira app open. If you've updated the app, you will now see a new tab at the bottom. Selected home tab one of four window Ira Explorer. The next one over access AI tab two of four is access AI. And that's the one you want to go to. Now, if you aren't part of the beta yet, you will see a form there where you can request access to the beta feature access AI tab two of four. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the access AI tab access AI access AI. And here quick capture and send. We have a viewfinder, so if you still have some vision, you can just look here um, and you can tap anywhere in this picture or on the label at the bottom and snap a picture. So let's go ahead and do that right here. End of messages, chat, actions available. So right now. Access AI is writing a response, actions available. It's writing a response. The image shows a collection of electronic devices on a dark colored surface. In the foreground, there's a pink JBL portable speaker. Behind it, there are two smartphones lying flat, one on top of the other, and two portable speakers, one with a visible logo that suggests it's from the brand Soundcore. The wall in the background has some marks on it, and there's a blue light source to the left, possibly from a screen or LED light. Would Wait. you like more details about any specific item in this image? Actions available. I did not know I had marks on the wall. Okay, thank you, AI, for sharing that with everybody. Well, let's see what else we've got here. End of messages. Detailed capture. We can add a detailed capture. That means we can take a picture and ask a question about it. Choose from gallery. And then we can choose a picture from our gallery. Type a message. And we can also type a message. Showing English US QWERTY. Ira Explorer. Use assistant voice typing. What type of marks are there on the wall? Are they just shadows or are they actual marks? Editing. What type of marks are there on the wall? Are they just shadows or are they actual marks? Voice typing stop. Send message. Let's send that. What type of marks are there on the wall? Are they just shadows or are they actual marks? Actions available. Keyboard hidden. The marks on the wall appear to be actual marks or blemishes, not shadows. There are some vertical streaks and spots that suggest wear or staining on the wall surface. If you need further clarification or assistance with anything else, please let me know. Actions available. I'll have to check that later. Great. So that's how that works. I'm going to go back. Access AI. Quick capture and send. Detailed capture. And there's also a detailed capture here. Choose from gallery. And there's a choose from gallery um, in the tab itself. Detailed capture. Let's try detailed capture. Camera, close. I'll take a picture again of the same thing and see if it really has marks. Viewfinder, take photo. Okay, I'm gonna take the photo. Photo taken, retake, done. Okay. Ira Explorer. Done Chat. button. Selected. One image. I've added the image, but it didn't automatically send it. And so now I can go to the type a message. edit field here, and then I can type a message. Use assistant voice typing. Are there any marks on the wall? Voice typing stopped. Editing. Are there any marks on the wall? Window Ira Explorer. Send message. Now I can send this message. A-R-U-E. A-R-U-E. There are any marks on the wall. Actions available. Access AI is writing a response. Actions available. Yes, there are some marks on the wall. There appear to be smudges and streaks of various sizes and shapes. Would you like more details about the specific marks or anything else in the image? Actions available. Okay, so there we go. We really do have smudges. All right, so enough about my wall. Uh, let's choose an image from the gallery. Choose from gallery. Ira Explorer. Selected. One image. 
All right, I've selected an image, and I'm just going to send, send it. Send message. Let's see what it says. Access AI is writing a response. Actions available. We'll wait for it. Just as a note, I didn't edit this part so you can get an idea of how long it takes. The image shows a dog lying on a wooden floor with a rope toy in its mouth. A person's hand is visible, holding the other end of the toy, playing tug of war with the dog. The dog appears to be a boxer with a fawn coat and black mask. Would you like to know more about the dog, the toy, or anything else in the picture? Actions available. All right. Type a message. Showing English. Use assistant voice typing. Tell me more about what the dog looks like and what position the dog is in. Voice typing stopped. The image. Send message. Tell me more about what the dog looks like and what position the dog is in. Actions available. Access AI is writing a response. Actions available. The dog is a fawn-colored boxer with a black mask around its eyes and snout. It has a muscular build, a broad chest, and a short, smooth coat. The dog is lying on its side on the wooden floor, with its front legs extended forward and its hind legs bent at a relaxed angle. Its head is raised, and it is gripping a twisted rope toy with its teeth, looking directly at the camera with an attentive and playful expression. The dog's ears are cropped and standing erect, and its tail is not visible in the image. Would you like more information about the dog or anything else? Actions available. And there we go. The UI is pretty simple. There is one extra button here at the top right. Call visual interpreter. Where you can call a, an IRA agent right from the chat. And I believe this will send the agent your conversation, maybe. And you can ask for confirmation that way. That does use your either your free five minutes or whatever access offer or minutes that you have. And there you have it. That was a quick look at Access AI, which is Ira's new AI feature. Right now, this is still in beta, but this is free. It's pretty similar to something like Be My AI, which is a Be My Eyes app feature. One nice thing is that it is in dark mode. There are some irregularities because it is still a new beta, and hopefully they can work through that. If you try this feature out, let me know what you think and how it stacks up with the other AI chat image description services that are out there. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up below and subscribe. And if you want to support my mission and what I do here, consider becoming a Patreon or YouTube channel member. We do monthly meetups on Google Meet and I also share updates and also ask COA members their input. There's also some extra content and some behind the scenes info as well. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for listening and watching and I will catch you in the next video. What smudges? Where are they? Where? Where? Are they coffee stains? What? <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> So I called an IRA agent and um, I thought I was videoing it, but apparently not. And they told me that they are scuff marks. So I must have smacked the wall with something really hard. Um, but at least I guess I know that it's not like a coffee stain or that uh, my son didn't like start drawing on the wall. <laughs> so how do we fix scuff marks? And um, what did I bang into the wall?